Indo-Educ for All or Indonesian Education for All is an Erasmus Plus program capacity building in the field of higher education co-funded by the European Union. The main goal of the project is to ensure access and quality education for students with disabilities in Indonesian universities. At operational level, the overall objective of the Indo Edu for All project is to improve access, ensure learning conditions, and develop employment opportunities for students with disabilities in Indonesia via modern inclusion practices and networking. The specific objectives are first, to create a modern inclusive framework through the creation, refreshment of disabled student support centers, and long-term strategies for the access and retention of disabled students in higher education system. Second, to establish a national network to increase inter-institutional cooperation and sharing of best practices while responding to society's equity demand. The project consists of consortium of 10 universities, with the University of Alicante as coordinator, while the member of consortium, among others, are three European higher education institutions, namely Universidad de Alicante, Spain, Glasgow Caledonian University, Scotland, University of Paris Research Center, Greece, six Indonesian higher education institutions, Universitas Islam Negeri Sunan Kalijaga, Universitas Indonesia, Universitas Lambung Mangkurat, Universitas Negeri Surabaya, Institut Agama Islam Negeri Surakarta, Universitas Islam Negeri Syarif Hidayatullah Jakarta, One Disability Non-Government Organization, Sasana Integrasi dan Advokasi Difabel. Indo Educ for All helps to improve the inequality situation faced by students with disabilities by accomplishing the objectives through concrete tangible outputs. Firstly, Indo Educ for All project has implemented three study visits to the premise of the European partners, increasing inter-institutional cooperation and sharing of good practices. Afterwards, project members carried out one needs analysis to overcome the lack of information and generation of specific knowledge related to disabled students in Indonesian higher education. Finally, one collection of good practice guide for disability was drafted between the consortium in order to orientate adaptation to each institution. Secondly, Indo Edu for All devoted resources to the enhancement of managerial and administrative staff capacities in dealing with and implementing inclusive education practices. The approach to the training is comprehensive and targets the whole spectrum of administrative and academic staff dealing with disabled students. The pedagogical methodology was participative and inclusive, highly focused on practicality and good practice. The result are one training handbook in English and Bahasa Indonesia encompassing comprehensive training models delivered in two training in Universitas Islam Negeri Sunan Kalijaga and Glasgow Caledonian University to staff working or directly involved in the support centers of the Indonesian institutions. This action was amplified by the organization of training replications at each institution. Thirdly, at institutional level, Indo Edu for All fostered the creation of support structures to enable access to higher education and fostered the consolidation of a social inclusion culture within universities. Implementing a twin track approach, Indo Edu for All intervened at each institution by reinforcing the creation or refreshment of students with disabilities support office as well as equipping them with assistive technology and office equipment. Then, at intern institutional level, Indo Edu for All devised the Kopertina Network, Consortium for Indonesian Inclusive Higher Education for the inclusion of students with disabilities in higher education. The outcomes have been six support centers, six strategic plans, and six assistive technology sets functioning. Indo Edu for All also aims at nurturing an external relations cooperation framework for each university contributing to improve access and employment of students with disabilities. 
The project focuses on the opening up of the university towards high schools and labor market actors. As such, each Indonesian university has engaged with five high schools, providing counseling on disability and inclusion, contributed to design reasonable accommodations to 10 private companies, and mediated to obtain three internships for their students with disabilities. Besides that, the support center organizes three information day in order to combat stereotypes against disability and raise awareness about the existence of student support structure within the higher education. indo edu for all has disseminated its achievements via its comprehensive project website containing all relevant information about the project as well as the organization of two international conferences and one final indo edu for all conference to increase public awareness and understanding on inclusive education within Indonesian higher education institutions. Eventually, Indo Edu for All work along the lines of the Indonesian government, endeavors to take legal steps towards the creations of anti-discriminatory laws in favor of the populations with disabilities and their inclusions in higher education. It is expected that the project of Indo Edu for All outcomes will contribute to the implementations of the legal obligations of Indonesian higher education institutions, that it will serve as a good practice example and blueprint for similar actions in other cooperation projects on disability and inclusion within the Indonesian higher education system.